Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, we got to talk about this whole Ayanna Van Zant. She decided to do some type of sit down with Nick Cannon. And they're talking about. You know, not the fact that, you know, Father Abraham keeps, you know, planting seeds and having all these damn children that he obviously, uh, you know, outside of financial, he's not able to be there for all these children. They got into this whole conversation about him dating outside his race. So we're going to watch this. I, I just found it very, very interesting. Very interesting. So give me uh, just a second. Okay, this is it. Okay. Dating a, a woman of another race or culture are demonstrating that you can love who you love and still take care of your people. Mm. Why isn't that a consideration? Right. That you can be who you are personally and you do the strength. Maybe that's not your sole contract mm. to marry a black woman, but to take care of the black community and to do it in a way where you are. are and you as a black man dating handle yourself and you speak your truth and you you state your intention and you love becky <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to say it no, it's okay i mean real. you know because the lines, been, that's... there are a lot of men of color out there with means who ain't doing nothing mm. <laughs> Spend their money on the pole. Are out in the world and, and people see you and you handle Okay, so I have to pull out the tiny violin. Near, 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 near. Shut the fuck up. Um, first and foremost, Ayana, Ayanla, what I find very funny is this coddling of Nick Cannon, okay? First of all, she's more concerned with on oh, the fact that Oh, you're dating outside of your race should not be a big deal as long as you're helping your people. You know, you can be pro-black and date outside your race. and No, you can't. That, that, that totally defeats the purpose of being pro-black. Let me say this. I don't care who Nick Cannon dates. I, there's nothing wrong with interracial dating at all. You know what I'm saying? Date who makes you happy. You know, have children with, marry with who makes you happy. Go to where you're celebrated, not tolerated. And that goes for black women, black men. So I've never had an issue with interracial dating ever. My issue with this is it's funny that she has all this compassion and, oh, you know, um, you know, at least you're helping the black race. So it doesn't matter if you date outside your race. You got men who have who have money, who are men, who are men who have means and they're just in the strip club tricking it off. You know, at least you're trying to help and do stuff for the black community. My question is, where was all this grace for Ebony K. Williams? Ebony K. Williams, let me let me bring y'all back. Remember, this sparked a whole debate on, on social media. She simply said that she didn't want to date a bus driver. Ebony K. Williams ain't out here with six baby daddies, a bunch of kids by different people. She's out here, got a degree. She's a lawyer. She makes good money. She's fit, fun, and feminine. <laughs> okay, the, the Fs and shit. Fit, fun, and friendly. All of that. Well, maybe not friendly because Ebony look like she'll cut your ass out. But she gave Ebony no grace. Let's go ahead. Let, let, me, let me play this back. We're going to watch how she treated Ebony when it came to asking Ebony what she wanted in a mate. I'm not feeling that. Because if Nick Cannon can date who he wants to date, why can't Ebony? that the men that are available to us and I'm talking about across the color spectrum across the age spectrum trust me I've done them all um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about they're not earning the incomes they're not having the resources and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership would you date a bus driver you would you date if a he bus owns bus? the bus if he owns no. it if he owns the bus See, that's the problem that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. 
because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. When all right, all right, let me come back on the screen. So do you see the difference in conversation? And I remember people were calling her back then. They were they were calling her a mammy and a pit Misha. And I don't like those type of words. Because again, sometimes when you hold black women accountable, child, they will call y'all types of pit Mishas. And y'all not hold everybody accountable. I don't give a fuck. So you know, I've been called that before. So I don't I don't really like those words. But now I'm kind of seeing what y'all meant. Because I'm like, okay, so why when it comes to Ebony dating, it you know, first of all, why did she even ask that question? We talked about this months ago. You know, why was that the question that you chose to ask her? You want to ask a white real housewife that question like, well, why do you want to date somebody rich? Why do you want to date somebody on your level financially? You asked her, would she date a bus driver? No, absolutely not. Nothing wrong with a bus driver again. Nothing wrong with somebody working a nine to five job. But this woman is a, an established lawyer. She's like a millionaire. She has herself together. If she wants to set her standards higher, she has every right to. But then with Nick Cannon, it's, oh, you know, um, we're not going to talk about the fact that you as a black man is creating all these broken homes. Again, I don't care if these children were with white women, Latino women, or all black women. He's still creating broken homes. He cannot be in every single home. They're changing diapers, spending quality time with all of these kids. Why? Because he's only one person. And we all know that the black baby mama, the one that he actually did knock up, the, the actual black one, she really got the short end of the stick. Her and her new boo or her who used to be her best friend, they're basically having to raise the daughter. How many times has she blasted Nick Cannon for not coming to see the daughter, not spending enough time? And like I said, I don't feel no ways about her. I don't feel bad for her because you're the dummy who, who decided to be baby mama number 11 or whatever she is. Okay? I just find it very interesting that there's no accountability on that part. She's basically coddling him and talking about, oh, people shouldn't care that you date outside your race. You know, maybe, you know, God has ordained for you to be with a white woman or somebody outside your race as opposed to a black woman. And maybe that might be true. Maybe God wants him to be with, you know, spicy la 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 Latina, okay? Maybe that's who God ordained him to be with. But that's not what he's doing. He, he didn't go and grab la 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 Latina and then marry her, okay? He knocked her up and moved down to the next. La 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 Latina. So, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> so, I, I just think she, Ayana is full of shit. You're full of shit. You're saying all of this stuff, but you're not holding him accountable at all for anything that he's doing. This man is creating broken homes. I don't care how much money he has. That does that you having money and throwing money at, at children or throwing money at the baby mamas, that doesn't mean anything. Your presence is what is needed. So I just don't like that. Like how when it came somebody said, T, you're crazy. <laughs> Y'all not a mess, honey. I'm just saying, like, it's it's all this grace for him. And again, he can date who he wants to date. I think the conversation should have been, why do you have so many damn children? by so many different women in a short span of time. It's not cute, it's not okay. And these women are just as accountable, right? I've always held the women accountable, just like I've held them accountable. They're basically in it for a bag and to you know, get residual fame from his peen. So I think that should have been the real conversation because when it came to Ebony, she wanted to get all deep and you know it's about character and uh-uh, mm-mm, you're out of order. Out of order because she knows what she wants out of order because she went to school, got herself together, did what she needed to do in life. She's not out here a, a baby mama of five with a bunch of baby daddy drama. But this man, he's not out of order, though, for having all these kids by different women. We're just going to stick to him, you know, dating outside his race because black people seem to have a problem with that. Let me in. Let me let, me let you in on the little secret. Dear, 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 dear. We don't give a shit. We don't care who you date, Nick. We don't care where you place your dick. We don't care who you knock up, okay? That's not the issue that black people have with you, okay? People have always given Nick props for, for dating some of the baddest chicks in the industry. The problem is that you're having all of these children by different women and you're creating broken homes and you're supposed to be a role model, okay? You have been seen as a role model for years in the black community. You notice? Nobody gives a shit what NBA Youngboy does. 
NBA Young Boy is a father of 11 by a bunch of different women, every race of the rainbow, black, you know, Latina, mix, whatever, right? You notice he doesn't get as much flack because he's not a role model. He's nobody that, no grown man or young boy is looking up to NBA Young Boy like that. We understand he's a rapper, he's living a rapper lifestyle, what, and these chicks are goofy. But with him, he placed himself in the position of being like the voice of the people. I'm doing a Dr. Sebi documentary. He was out here in Minneapolis during George Floyd recording that weak video. He's just always placed himself in a position to where he acts like, you know, he's, you know, a father figure to young black men to look up to and, you know, trying to be woke and, you know, I'm going to talk to Professor Griff. And then when, Prof when Professor Griff said too much, you know, he got in trouble with the Jewish community and had to do the whole hobo apology tour. So I just find that very interesting that that wasn't the conversation. This man has damn near 15 children. I don't know, give or take. <laughs> I don't know. I lost count. I lost count. But he has a lot of children. And I just find that very funny that that wasn't what she addressed. Nobody cares who he dates. Nobody cares that he has kids outside of his race. People are upset because they looked at him as a role model. And now he just looks like a cornball who was who doing, who's having all these children for attention and for viral moments. It's just weird. So I don't know. When I saw that, it's 12 children. I, told, I lost count. Somebody said it's 12 kids. When I saw that, I just felt like, I didn't, I didn't like the energy that she, she, you know, it was all this coddling of Nick Cannon. Oh, I'll be okay. You can date who you want to date. God has, you know, la, 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 Tina, you know, ordained for you. But when it came to Ebony, it was, huh, huh, let me clutch my visible damn pearls. How dare you not want to date a bus driver? Who do you think you are? I mean, like, she was so upset with Ebony. I just, I just thought it was just insane. I thought it was insane. I'm like, I, you know. We're always like much harsher on women and Ebony really didn't do anything. She just said, no, if he owns a bus company, I would date him. But no, I don't want to date a bus driver. And it was like, you know, the gall of her. And then remember all the thank pieces that all the men were writing and, you know, all the videos. Oh, they drug Ebony. But I bet you though, there's not going to be any thank pieces on Nick Cannon's situation at all. It's just going to be seen as okay. Oh, he's a man. That's what we do. <laughs> Child, I just find it funny. I don't know. I just, I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I just thought it was too much coddling. It wasn't a real con. She wasn't, I feel like if that was anybody else, she would have talked about why he has so many kids. Let's not forget, she interviewed a long time ago a man who had like 34 kids and was talking about, let me see if I can pull it up, about back in, you know, uh, back in uh, the day, um, the, oh, it's Oprah. Oprah ain't gonna let me play it. She gone. She'll, uh... But I, I'm gonna show y'all the screen. I'm not gonna play it, though. But how, you know, this was buck-breaking, and that's how they did black men. Y'all remember this? When she interviewed the guy, he was a father of 34 children. Why didn't you get a vasectomy? A man with 34 children confesses his failings as a father. I mean, this is insane. This guy has 34 kids by 17 different men. I mean, excuse me, women. And remember she had her, she had him holding all them dolls? Got up in his face? So that's what I'm saying. I'm not over-exaggerating when I say, well, where is this energy for Nick? How is Nick any different from this man? Granted, maybe Nick doesn't have, you know, 34 kids, but 12 is a lot by several different women. Nick is doing the same thing as that man with 34 kids. None of them can be at, at the same place at one time. So her hypocrisy was very rich to me. I was like, oh, wow. Mm -mm. I wasn't here for If you it. want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.